Next up, the Bandai Triceratops molded in Limex, which apparently is a material that's uh, made from limestone and polystyrene and it's supposed to be more environmentally friendly, I think. Um, things I've seen online is that it may not be that great a material. Anyway, um, this is the next up. Continuing on the skeleton theme that I'm doing lately. I just got finished doing a uh, mammoth skeleton. And so this one's coming up. So I'm going to go ahead and box it. Now, um, Bandai does these kind of bands instead of shrink wrap. I'm... Maybe it saves on material. I don't know why they do that. Um, I will say, if you have to put the bands back on, it is possible. Um, but it... Uh, which you can't do with shrink wrap. Maybe that's the reason to be able to repackage them. Or maybe it saves on material. I don't know. Anyway. So... Here's our kit, and I just opened up the Tyrannosaurus kit, and it looks to me like the bases are very similar. I see some loose parts in here. Um, on the other kit, I was seeing parts easily fall off. So, I, again, I'm not so sure about this Limex material. Here's the tail section. Yeah, this, this head just fell off. Just, boop, fell off. I'll show that to you. And here's the base. And here are the parts. Let's look at the instructions real quick. Here we go. It looks pretty straightforward. I'm going to look at something because I've got the, the Tyrannosaurus here. I'm just curious, because these this base looks very, very similar. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, very similar, but no, they're, they are different. So, yeah, this one's got... Uh, the T-Rex has got some slots that the feet fit, fit into, and the uh, Triceratops does not. So, interesting. So, uh, this is the next build, the Bandai uh, Triceratops uh, molded in Limex. I've got some misgivings about or trepidation about the Limex. We'll see how it goes. So let's jump on in. Because a release agent is used in the injection molding process, you need to clean that off because if you don't, it could interfere with your paint job. The assembly is pretty easy. This is pretty much a snap together kit. Uh, I did use a little glue on the horns, uh, the Tamiya quick set or uh, thin set cement. Otherwise, I kept this as a snap together kit uh, so I could position the legs later. Otherwise, I would have normally cemented all the parts down. Real quick. So my camera stopped on me while I was finishing this up. But the... Triceratops is 
assembled now. I, for the most part, I left it articulated. Um, not sure how I feel about that, but I'm gonna, I did glue down the horns. I did an experiment earlier, um, cementing some sprue pieces together and they didn't stick together. So I don't have high hopes that the horns are going to stay glued. Um, I think this is another one of those that's intended as a kid's kit. Um, I'm not going to prime this, but I am going to do some, uh, some washes on this in the base. And we'll see where that takes me. Uh, yeah, it's kind of tiny. I thought it would be bigger. Anyway, I'm going to drive on with this. For the paint job, I used a series of washes. I started with a, a tan and then a, a reddish brown and then uh, did some stippling with the reddish brown and a, and a cream white. The Bandai triceratops in limex is done it's kind of a smaller kit than i thought it would be but not bad um i'm i'm not a fan of the limex there were points where parts were just fl falling off the sprues um which on my tyrannosaurus uh also, the Limex uh, is a problem because now I'm missing a couple of leg parts. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do about that. But overall, I mean, this was a quick build. Um, probably about an hour to build uh, if you're not having missing part problems. And a uh, pretty quick paint. I didn't prime it where normally I would uh, be. It just seemed like uh, I was hoping that maybe the the limestone part of the limex would kind of absorb stuff. So as an experiment, I chose not to prime this, and I may do this on the when I f finally figure out what I'm going to do about the T-Rex. I also may not prime that. Anyway, <clears throat> here it is. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out, especially on the paint job. So uh, that's all for this adventure. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with the T-Rex and then uh, go from there. But thanks for joining me.